everyone to this meeting. Miss um, Miss Lyons, you can start. Thank you. It's already recording. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not able again to see when somebody is raising their hand. So, is Mr. Tate there? No. No, he's not. I'll let you know when someone's raising their hand. Okay. Thank you. And Mr. Uh, the the police officer Skinner is he there? Detective Skinner, there's a police emergency. He said if they release him, then he'll come on. Wow. Okay. Um. Good night, everyone. Can everybody please um let me know if there are members of the public safety meeting or if there are guests for tonight, please? Because Miss Um Lyons, I need to know if I get quorum because we still have to approve the, the December and January minutes, I think. Yes? Yes. Um, uh, and or, how about Ms. Aaron start introducing herself? Uh, it would be y'all left, my right. Okay, I'm Judith Aaron's and I'm a member of the committee. Good, welcome Ms. Aaron. Thank you. Good evening, Simone Sylvester. I am, uh, I live in East Flatbush. I'm just a community person. Thanks. Welcome. Annika McCain Brown, committee member. Audrey Henderson, committee member. Okay. Anyone else? Leonie Logan, committee member. Vanessa Kwashi, committee uh, member. Adele Bennett, committee member. Okay, welcome. Thanks for coming to the meeting. Um, my name is Jessica Welch. I'm a community community board member and a committee member of this uh, public safety. Um, last week not last week, last month, when we were joining this meeting, um, I had a question for everybody, if they wanted to have a end of year festivity, wherein um, we could request people's information whether or not they would like to have something for public safety, when it's all about the environmental safety, uh, fire safety, um, police safety in our membership on the community board. And I needed someone to have a, discussion with all of us as to what we would like to do with our public safety um, members. So we still not <laughs> coming together and finding out if you wanna have something at the end of this year, which is in four months, I think it's in June. Yeah will be the last meeting, but we don't necessarily have to have it at our last meeting. We can have it on the Saturday that the rest of the community board hasn't used for their end of year festivity. Hello? Anybody know? or have an idea if they want to have something? 
something would be nice to have, but um, are isn't the com the com community board moving? I mean, like, where would we have it? Is my question. Well, that's just it. They haven't really said what date they're going to move or when they're going to move, and we don't necessarily have to have it on their premise. Because right now, I think Miss Lyons, it's up in the air right now whether or not they're going to move. Because they were looking for some place, I think, on Rogers Avenue, and they said um, everybody should go and look at the location. I I don't really know. No. Because we don't necessarily have to have it on the community board property. Uh, we could have it on Avenue D if we have a find a place over there to have it, but we could have it at the school. I don't know. It all depends on what we're gonna have and what what this uh, end of year idea of like, um, before the community board had meet there was something that was going on at that uh, junior high school my 11 and that was about the truck safety and um uh the different things that was going on in our area with the the lighted uh corridors meaning the street lighting uh, things that weren't safe for our community. So we can always have something like that also. Um, can I just ask Ms. Welch, you were thinking we should have like um, something more social event or something more educational event? I really would like something that will educate the rest of our community and something that will help us to be more safe in our area. You mean like um, something police related? Something what? Police related. Community definitely related. There's something that um that, that's gonna give information to the rest of our community and will also be able to educate the rest of our community. Oh, that will help us in our community. How about some safe tips for the residents getting around in the dark? They had something like that once before. Mm -hmm. well, I, was in, I was I, I wasn't a member of the public safety committee before. So that's why I was trying to get information from the other members that were that assistance in order for it to happen or Mrs. Ambassador, could you make mute your phone? Hello? It was just difficult to hear everyone because it was a lot of noise in the background. I apologize. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Okay. So can you tell me? What, do you, does anyone that's on this uh, committee uh, remember of anything that they have had at the end of year festivity? So I have to know yes. what I'm doing or what we'll like to do together. Can I, you hear me? 
Yes, I can. Oh, well, what I was going to say is I've been on the committee for several years and George used to have a fire safety and then he had a police safety meeting. This way, you know, they brought out information for the public from the police department from the 6-7 and they also had somebody come from, I guess, a fire chief come and give us fire safety information. Mm -hmm. Because right now, I think uh, this is uh, February. I mean, yes. in March, when we're going to have the general board meeting, I mm -hmm. think I was supposed to get information for the whole community. Mr. Tate had suggested this for the community board because we had a fire safety meeting with someone from the fire department and someone from uh, Safe New York for FDNY for people to get free fire detectors and smoke detectors. And um, Mr. Tate had suggested that we do it again for the community board general meeting. Yes. Yes. So, um, I had good. asked Miss uh, Miss Fraser if maybe we could have that person at our general board meeting, being as how um, they, Mr. Tate has suggested that there was a lot of a lot of fire trucks. Every minute there was a fire. Every night he was hearing fire trucks. So I had um, asked if maybe that person could come to the general board meeting so that um, our community can get that information. Since there was so much fire trucks in the night and do, during the day we was hearing it constantly. A lot of fires was going on in um, the Bronx at that time. I mean, big fires, I don't mean little fires. So they were supposed to be invited in the March meeting. I was speaking to Mr. Daly about that. And I was trying to find out because I don't think they do it anymore. If we can get uh, somebody from the fire department to bring actual smoke detector batteries to make sure the community at large could be equipped with the batteries for the smoke detectors that they have at home that might not be working because of the batteries being dead. That's what I was supposed to find out about. And that program used to be with FDNY, but um, I can't, I, I can't get the people that were um, giving away those batteries anymore because that, that part of their FDNY, they don't have that program anymore. Um, well, I got uh, our church gave us um, had some people from the New York City Emergency Management um, group come in and give a presentation on um, not just fire safety, but emergencies and how to make a plan. For example, um, you know, if you needed to, to get out of your house quickly. So, and they, they also had like, um, like a little, um, what you call it? Um, little booklets for kids so that you can see. Um, and actually I still have it because it was just this past Sunday. So I think that. Nobody got trash out. I'm sorry, you're gonna. It's the. 
I'm sorry. City emergency management. Um, that's like from OEM. Yeah, so they had this is what they gave out. And then they also had within the package a plan for emergency, hurricane. You know, they had these little booklets for the kids, for the Avengers. That's an entire that was an entire set of stuff they had. So and they had two people that came that were supposed to talk about um, you know, what you need to do if you needed to leave. Um, if you had an emergency and you needed to leave. You right? must have a, a way out. Okay, I think um I think those are the people from OEM. I think Miss Um Miss Lyons, is that from OEM, Office of Emergency Management? That part of their uh, public safety. Yes. Um, it is right. We're referring to. The, okay, she had her church. Her church had something, mm -hmm. where the people came out and gave information, the booklet, the pamphlets, and I was just explaining that I was speaking to Ms. Frazier because I spoke to Mr. Daly about having the people from the fire department come out. Like mm -hmm. we had at our meeting earlier that no, not earlier this year, but when we had our meeting in I think November, mm -hmm. we had somebody from the fire department come out okay. and she gave us information on the the people from the Red Cross to come out to actually uh, go through your home and make it a, a a fire a fireproof home, meaning they go out and they give you. They came the out when Mr. Tate was the chair. I don't remember. They I don't know if they came out when you were on because I wasn't here in November, so I'm not sure. I I know, I know you wasn't, but I'm just saying. That's why I was asking Ms. Frazier if we could have those same people come out at the general board meeting in March. So when and did you we, ask Ms. Frazier? Uh, yeah, if we could have the same people that came out to us, it was called uh, Smart, Smart FDNY. Okay, Ms. Welch, when did you ask Ms. Frazier? Um, last month when we had a meeting with Mr. Tate that he wanted to have the the um FDNY come out for the March meeting. Okay, because... I'm not aware of that because Ms. Frazier has not contacted me about that. No, she wouldn't contact you about it because she has Mr. to contact me because I covered a committee. Oh but you, but she was the one that was covering the committee at the time. That's why. No, I understand what you're saying. What I'm saying is, if you asked her to make sure they were on March agenda, she would send it to me to forward to the committee so they would know that they would be present at the March general board meeting or your committee meeting, either one. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. I just spoke to Ms. And she Tr didn't send me anything, so I'm not sure. Okay. So tomorrow I'm definitely going to call Ms. Frazier because I didn't know I was supposed to do that. I just no, went no, no. you did what you did was correctly, but Ms. Frazier did not inform me that you reached out to her about the fire department. I had no clue. I know you spoke about it last month, but Ms. Frazier didn't say anything to me because I was waiting for someone to contact me so I could know where to go from there. It, either I contact the fire department to see if they could come or if they, they were already contacted so I can add them to the agenda, nothing was brought to my attention. So I'm not aware that you spoke to so, Ms. Frazier about this. Okay, are you are you the person that covers the general board meeting, Ms. Lyons? No, no, that's Ms. Frazier and I guess now the new staff member. Maybe she forgot what I said to her. Oh, Jesus. But if she's adding them to the agenda, she still has to send it to me because how are your committee members going to get it? It's not just for my committee members. No, no, no. Listen, to, I understand what you're saying, 
But in okay. order for your committee members, since I cover the committee, to know that they will be present at the March meeting, I have to send them the agenda and the link. Do you understand? So that means I would, all I did was mention it and it didn't mean nothing. Okay. No, oh. you could just reach out to Ms. Frazier. Stop. You know, people get busy. She may have forgot, just reach out to her tomorrow and ask her, you know, is it still possible for the fire safety to come to next month's meeting? And then we'll take it from there. Oh, okay. But not next month's meeting for, for public safety. Next month's meeting for the general board meeting. Right. You still have to reach out to Ms. Frazier for that. No problem. No problem. But um, you, you asked her about the information. I can contact them to find out if they're going to attend the committee meeting, but I don't run general board. I don't do the agenda for general board. No. She would have to actually do that. Okay. Okay. I can contact them for the meeting only, not for the general board meeting. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I will. I will call Ms. Frazier tomorrow. No, no problem. Um, yes, Ms. Aaron's thanks for that information. And I think that was from OEM, which is Office of Emergency Management. And um, something like that, we would, we would like to have those people present if we were to have something for the end of year festivities but um we also have to have like something else i think maybe uh something on well miss um lions for march meeting uh you was going to try to get in touch with somebody that does um somebody that does Somebody that does um, environmental. That's Ms. Hubbard. I will send her an invitation. You want her to attend the March meeting? For us, yes. No problem. I'll send her an invitation. Most likely, she'll let me know if she's available or not. Oh, but I had thought I had. Okay. No problem. No, you didn't. No, no, no. Mr. Tate made a suggestion. That was Mr. the month before. That was the month before mm -hmm. he made us. It was not, I don't think it was even him. I forgot who it was. But they made a suggestion about Miss Hubbard coming. I think it was Mr. Tate. And you said, okay, but you did not tell me to reach out. Okay. I have no, I contact her by email. She always answers right away. And she always attends these meetings. So I doubt if there will be an issue. Okay. So okay, I just have to okay. let her know ahead of time. So I will send okay. her an email immediately and let her know mm -hmm. that you would like for her to attend the March meeting. Okay. March I'll meeting. let you know by tomorrow if she's available. Okay. And that's for the March committee meeting for the public safety. Yes. Okay. That's where you want her to attend, right? Right. Yes. Okay. So I'll ask her if she attend the March meeting. Okay, okay. Miss Hubbard, we write it down. Again. My name is Denise Hubbard. I think most of the people that's on here that have been members for years know who she is. And that's what environmental safety. The Department of Environmental Protection. <laughs> yep. Okay. DEP. Sure, yeah. Abbreviation DEP. Okay. But I have to say the full, the full title of the agency, the Department of Environmental Protection. So I will contact her and let you know what she said about tomorrow. If she don't answer me tomorrow, she never takes a long time to answer me. So most likely I'll get a response tomorrow or the day after. And I will let you know. 
Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, uh, Miss. Miss um, Bennett, you was asking me a question about the the persons that did the the OEM. Yes, OE it's OEM Office of Emergency Management. They're the ones that do the public safety. They're the ones that do the community watch. I I also signed up to be a member. To be a member of the OEM? Yeah, for well, Community Board 17, but we don't have too many members anymore. No, they don't. Be, but I think the people that we were supposed to reach out to was Community Board 14, mm -hmm. because I think mm -hmm. I was a member of that yeah. at one time. And they keep, their, um, they keep theirs going, we don't. Right, so that's why we were supposed to piggyback on theirs. Mm -hmm. and the whole I think thing theirs that, and I think also 18 has one too. Yeah, but ours was run by a, a, the lawyer, Mr. Oh, mm -hmm. Mr. Jordan or something like that, I think his name was. I thought he was a paralegal. Oh, I don't know, I thought he was a lawyer. And a teacher. That's the only thing I know. He just said he's a teacher. Oh. Mm hmm Okay. But um he was no longer the member a member anymore. No. And uh we were supposed to go back to the people of community board fourteen. Mm-hmm. To be part of theirs. And the gentleman is was no longer there mm -hmm. doing it because we were very old oh that was what it was yeah, probably that's what i'm supposed to be in their 70s so, miss bennett did you did you come with us to to do the training at floyd bennett field with the with the i did it once a couple of years ago the disaster training yeah yeah oh okay it was a couple of years ago. I haven't. I don't think I've done it since. Because when Mr. Um, that was when they had the helicopter on the roof and everybody landed. Mr. Jordan, I remember his name. It was Victor Jordan. Yep, that's him. Oh, okay, I couldn't remember, but <laughs> jog my memory sometimes. Um. Um, he gave me information to join with 14 and 14 person that was the, the person for their emergency uh -huh, uh -huh. committee, uh, they stopped doing it. And that's where it stopped. Okay. Because I, said, I remember a lot of people got sick during COVID and they just stopped. Okay. So what are we supposed to do? You know any chance by any chance what you, we supposed to might, do? You might have to contact OEM office downtown Brooklyn and ask them who is still active in our area, what boards are active. Or maybe I'll try to reach out to Mr. Jordan and he might know. I don't know. If he's not doing it, he may may know he may not. No, the He's not, he's not meeting with the committee, but yeah. as an individual who did the training, mm -hmm. he, he might have, uh, he might know who to reach out to because, like I said, the gentleman that had did it, that person that was in uh, 14 is no longer doing it. No, like I said, a lot of them got sick. A lot of them passed away, too. A lot of them can't even walk. Okay. Okay. I'm you sorry. Ms. You might no no, you might have to ask Miss Frazier to reach out to her and ask her to contact OEM and have them contact you directly. Okay. Okay. OEM.
And those are the same people that did that uh, presentation at the church. I yes. think Ms. Judith. Ms. Judith? Um, well, I can get you the names. There were two ladies. Um, they just got introduced. Um, I didn't stay for the lecture because um, it was after service. But yeah, I could get you. I could probably get you the names. There were two two ladies. Um, so uh, let me see if I can oh. find it before the meeting ends. I'll let you know. Okay, not a problem because oh, so many things have changed and I I have no idea because when we did that um, training, it was over there at Floyd Bennett Field and that person, he no longer is doing it at Community Board 14. So then after Mr. 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 Jordan sent me over to 14 uh, with this gentleman. He was not having any meetings. So after the COVID, I don't know what happened. <laughs> you have to start up again and have to talk to OEM directly just to ask who's active because they would know. Because I don't think they're going to give us that training again. So that's um, why I'm not. You have to have at least 10 people. Eight, I think eight or ten people to do that training, and that particular training at Floyd Bennett Field, they mm -hmm. encompass about fifteen different community boards. They don't do one or two; they do, they do multiple. Okay. Wow. Okay, not a problem. But um. Definitely, that's that's something to do, Miss Judith. Um, I will definitely um, have it up there for the uh, for maybe they can also come to the general board meeting because um, I he'll have to speak to Miss Fraser and. Miss Lyon says that she was never reached out to about the uh, fire safety in the community. So I will definitely have to get in touch with somebody. Yeah. Um, any other suggestions? Um, hello? You said for hello? You said for June you want to do something? Uh, yes, at the end of year culmination of something for the public safety. Like a, like a, like a, like a community forum? Yes, for our safety, whether it's environmental, whether it's fire safety, whether it's um, the police safety. Yeah, um, I about as many people you can get there, many agencies. And they'll they'll do something called tabling. You know, they set up a table and they bring whatever they have to present to the community. And they also teach and explain. Like OEM, they would teach about yeah. the disaster training. Police would teach about police safety. Fire department would teach about fire safety. DEP would teach about environmental safety. Yeah, but because uh, we are up in the air about the 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 board actually moving, the next thing we have to think about where can we have this? Whether it's at a church or a park, if it's nice weather in June, do it in the park. Like on the, or we could yeah, do it on, on the park. Or we could do it in the sidewalk in front of our um. Office here, that's true. Well, the last time I checked, they said they weren't moving. That place on Clarkson was no go. No, I'm saying we could, no, what I'm, I, I heard that also, but I'm saying that if we were to have community, um, community members, meaning 
our whole community to come out to our table at our community board that's there on Albany. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We just take up just the tables around the community board. Okay. Or you also can use downstate. They're always very welcoming. Downstate? Yeah. To have, have the forum? Okay. Mm -hmm. They're always <laughs> very welcoming. They always say whatever the community board needs, they're there to help. And then they have a table too on health safety. You know, diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol. They they will do they will gladly do that. Kind of kind of an all focused forum. Um we didn't we 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 never discussed it because at every meeting I always say Anybody has any suggestion? Anybody think of what we can do? I just keep repeating myself. Well, I'm suggesting. <laughs> I'm not a good person speaking on the Zoom. But I it, remember, if I, if the time is at essence, time is running it, out. Yeah, but I can always get um, Miss Lyons to help us to send a shoot an email to somebody. To see mm -hmm, if they mm -hmm. come on that Saturday and uh, the rest of our community board to know that this is going to happen on such and such a date in June. Um, mm -hmm. So far, they have like one, two, three, like four different things I know that is, is happening for the end of year culmination. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I could see if any other of the other uh committees we can piggyback with them but i don't even know what they're having so far mm. I, uh, well you we can always talk to george when you get a chance he's very good at that too talk to whom george when you get a chance oh mr george tate yeah mr. he's george. always very helpful mr george tate is not not here today is he no no no, I just think he's under the weather or something with the kids. Okay. Okay. So um, he's he's not at our meeting today. So no, but you can talk to him pretty much any time when you get a chance. Okay, I I'm sure I have this and run all the suggestions by him. Okay. Will do. Definitely will do. Yeah, he's very, he's very helpful. Definitely. But um, uh, thank you, Miss Judith. You're welcome. For the, that information. Um, let me just. I'm trying to. I'm actually trying to read the. The agenda. And I wanted to know if so far we have uh, like five people that are members of our committee. So is that enough for quorum, Miss um, Lyons? Hello, Miss Lyons. Hello. Yes, Miss Welch. I just wanted to know if we had enough people to um vote the the minutes in no ma'am like huh no ma'am oh wow so what do we do this is from december that's december and january you're gonna have to approve it in march wow what i'm gonna do miss welch tomorrow i will send you the names and the email listing of all the members on your committee. Oh, and that's you what break I had down wanted. who you want to remove. Let me know. I'll remove them. And then next month you'll be able to approve. Oh, because these people have to come back. Right. So I can let you know. 
who's present, who's who, you know, who comes, who don't come, and then you can take it from there. Sounds good? Yeah, yeah, something that we can do. Okay. Definitely something we can do because this approval of this minix is for the last uh, three months. Yes, ma'am, you are correct. Yeah. I don't know about September, November, or December because I wasn't here. September, October, November, December, I wasn't here. No, okay. I was here for December. I wasn't here September, October, and November. So I don't know what happened with your quorums for those three months. Mm hmm Okay. So, okay. So we're going to try to have our uh, listing to look at to see how many people has been to our last three, four meetings and start removing them. Because right now we have five people that are committee members. Mm -hmm. And um, if all we have is maybe... Uh, 15 people on that list oh, down to like at least eight. Mm -hmm. Hello? I hear we you. Bring it down to, okay, we could bring it down to at least eight. So if we even have five, that's more than, that's more than quorum. Right, because you quorum. actually, public safety is a large committee. It is? Yes, it is. <laughs> Which public safety did come to whose meeting? <laughs> now, you took over a committee that uh -huh. already had a large amount of members. Yeah, but, but since I've been having meetings in September, October, November, I haven't had a lot of people at the meetings. And number I understand. two. I do understand, and I was not here to help you remove. Miss Frazier was covering the meetings, but mm -hmm. I'm telling you now, I'm here, I'm present. I will send you the listing with the emails and the names of the members, and you make the decision from there. I cannot make the, the decision for you. You're the chair of the committee. I'm just a staff mm -hmm. member. I cannot make the decision for you. I can only tell you who have been active and inactive. And you have to take it from there. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. Since I've been here from September, I have not seen us have uh, 10 or even 15 people at any of the meetings. Again, I sure. understand, understand what you're trying to tell me. But what I'm telling you is in order to eliminate this situation again, I will send you what i said tomorrow you know the members that have been active i know the members that have been active i will give you a list of the members that are active and you take it from there you understand okay okay, okay. i will definitely take it from there because they haven't been to this meeting <laughs> oh my goodness okay not a problem okay not a problem We'll take care of that tomorrow. <laughs> Do I need to come to the office? Because no, no, no. I'm, we're not in the office because there's a sewer issue issue in the bathroom. Okay. Okay. So I. So we're working and, from home until I fix it. Okay. So Miss um, Lines, I don't have your number to just call you. You could call the office phone so, every uh, day. Okay. What I'll do is no. What I'll do is once I break down a list of who's mm -hmm. attentive and who is not, and send it to you. I will call you in the morning. Give me a good time to call you to let you know. I sent you the list. Review it and let me know what to do from there. What's okay. The time to call you in the morning. Okay. Uh, you can only do this in the morning because tomorrow morning. Somebody's actually coming and get me so that I can I work take from it. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So whatever day, whatever time of the day you would like to do it, just let me know in between that time frame. Okay. For lunch from two to three. Okay. Your two to three is lunch? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, right after you finish lunch, mm -hmm. you can call me because I'm 
I have to go and take care of some business uh, tomorrow. So I'll definitely be home by three, three o'clock when you finish your meal. Your okay. So I'll call you at three thirty just to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yes. Because I have to go and take care of something at the federal court building, so it's not a problem. All right, three thirty is fine. Okay, three thirty is fine. Fine for that. Okay, so I'm writing it down. These lions. Lions. Okay. Um. So far, with all of these festivities that we're supposed to be planning at the end of year. I just wanted to know, did we need any money for these things? Because most of the people are through different offices in the city. And I don't see why we would need any money. Hello, any suggestions? Are nice politicians. <laughs> <laughs> we used to count on, um, on I mean, Nick Perry, and maybe uh, Perry Lewis, He's but now an Perry's gone, so we got Waterman now. Mm. Might have to call Dalton. He would know definitely. Yeah. Hello. Yes. I have to call okay. Dalton. He's still there. Dalton is still there. Okay. Yes. Okay. We can always speak to him. We can always speak to him. Dalton. Three. Okay. Okay. Um, did Mr. Mr. Skinner get in get into our meeting as yet, Miss Lyons? It's Detective Skinner, and no, he hasn't come in as of yet. Okay. So I'm pretty sure what he explained to me is there's a barricade at a prison, so. I don't think nobody's going to be available from the precinct tonight because that's a serious situation. And it's not a barricade just from, from guards. So which means um, the inmates are probably a little out of control and they need extra help. Okay. I think okay. it's simple booking. So I don't think he'll be available tonight. He okay, said if he's able you. to get in, he'll come in. If not, that's their job. It is. They got to do what they got to do. Not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. Um. So far on our list of our agenda, we have nothing else uh, unless somebody has some new business they would like us to speak about. Hello, anybody? Anybody else have any information they want to give us? No, nothing at the moment. Yeah. Pretty much everything. There's nothing else on our agenda that we can actually take care of because we still cannot. Um... Oh, no quorum. <laughs> we don't have quorum. <laughs> So we can't take care of that. And um, at this time, uh, it's going to be almost one hour that we have been online with the Zoom meeting. So uh, can somebody please make a motion? Bell Bennett makes a motion to adjourn at this time for the public safety meeting. Anyone would like to second it? 
Senator Barron, South second the motion to adjourn. Thank you, Ms. Barnes. Um, well, that's the end of our public safety meeting for today. Mm -hmm. Thanks everybody for being at this meeting. And if you have any other information or you would like us to explore anything else, I'd like to leave my number out there. My phone number is 917-971-1111. So please feel free to call me if there's something I didn't remember to speak about or you'd like me to speak about, please call me. Thank you for being there, everyone. Good night. Ms. Welch? Yes? You have to make a motion for someone to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I did. Who did it? I Miss Miss um, Judith, I mean Miss. Go ahead, Miss Bennett. Miss <laughs> Bennett, kids is home from school, so y'all know I'm in the midst. Well, I'm we did. Of the... <laughs> we did it already. So Miss Bennett and who else? I seconded. Miss Bennett seconded. Who and Miss Aaron, Aaron did? Aaron seconded. No, no, no. I Ms. Aaron seconded. Miss Bennett did it first. She, yeah, I did it first, and she did it second. Okay, excellent, excellent. It's on a recording, but I like to write it down too. So, okay, but I was dealing is... with my daughter at the time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, these things happen. We know you got them for the whole week. I'm, I'm around the here. entire week, Miss Bennett, and I'm pulling my hair out. Trust me and believe. Trust and believe. I'm pulling my hair out. <laughs> well, I have the I have the grand nephew and the grand niece here. So, oh, good luck, good luck. How old are they? One is a teenager, mm -hmm. and the other one is thirty something. Well, you ask me, I don't have no teenagers. <laughs> so, could you Wait. imagine? Wait. <laughs> okay, so you got it. So, Miss Bennett. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Yes, I have it. I wrote it down. Okay, and I to you at. Hi, Mrs. Logan. <laughs> oh, yes, Ms. Logan. Ms. Yes, Logan is Logan. on Night, everybody. I, Thank hi, you. Ms. Leone. I haven't spoken to you in so long. I know. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But good to hear you. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's one of my favorites right wait, there. That's wait, one of my favorites. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Excuse me. Ms. Logan is... If Ms. Logan is, is there. I wanted to end the meeting, but... For Miss Logan, I can ask her what's going on at the precinct council. Well, I'm sorry. Can we reopen the meeting? No, <laughs> the meeting is not closed. The meeting, the meeting is not closed. over to 9 p.m. Miss Welch. If you choose, you can still stay on to nine. It don't cut off to nine. Okay, so Miss Logan, can you please give our members a, a little insight as, as to what is what is going on at the how do you call this? Well, um, at the, the precinct, yeah, the precinct council has gone back into the precinct to have the monthly general meetings. The meetings are held the third Thursday in every month. It's at the six seven precinct, which is at twenty eight twenty Snyder Avenue. The meeting starts at seven thirty. So, uh, for anyone who's interested in coming to the meeting, you get to meet your NCO officers. And if everybody doesn't know what an NCO officer is, it's your neighborhood coordinating officer. There are two coordinating officers per what they call sector, meaning the area that you live in. So, if you have an issue in your area, and you'd like to get to know those NCO officers and know who covers your area so that you can talk to them about any issues, then you know, please feel free to come to the meeting. It's an in-person meeting. It's not um, a virtual meeting. We've gone back to in-person. So, and again, it's the third Thursday in every month, starting at 730. Okay, we've had, of course, February is almost over. So, you know, the next meeting will be in March, the third um, Thursday in March. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Leone. You're welcome. Okay. Um, and um, 
I am sorry that I let y'all close out the meeting, but now we can close out. Please, Ms. Bennett. <laughs> okay. Abel Bennett, motions to close the meeting at this time for an adjournment. It's okay. She already said it. It's fine. Well, right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Good night, everyone. See you okay. next month. Good night. Good night. Okay. Take Good care. Thank you. Thank you.